And for instance, Honorable Speaker, when I invited your attention, is on a matter also touching on the decorum here in the house, that when you recognize students who ought to be emulating us as leaders and as their role models, we have a tradition and a culture in this house when you want to cheer, you foot thump, Honorable Speaker, but not bank tables, Honorable Speaker, and that is a matter I had wanted to raise about the Honorable Babu Owino. And Honorable Speaker, I just want to implore on our colleagues in the minority, please, as the Honorable Speaker has ruled in his uh, uh, communication, put your house in order. We do pray, Honorable Speaker, as much as uh, we are also hurt. Because, Honorable Speaker, you know, I was a ranking member in the Jubilee Party, and I found a member of Jubilee. And therefore, I still have uh, some, a bit of feelings for my friends in Jubilee. It's called nostalgia. Uh, some nostalgia, Honorable Speaker, honestly. I, I do have some, I am very nostalgic about uh, Jubilee because we had great plans for this country under Jubilee, Honorable Speaker. And therefore, I had hoped also, Honorable Speaker, that you would, in your ruling, communicate that you recognize Jubilee Party as a distinct parliamentary political party, which they qualify under standing order 20A1, Honorable Speaker, because they have already achieved that threshold. But as hard as I am, as nostalgic as I am about Jubilee, my former party, Honorable Speaker, I want to agree with you that we also give uh, Jubilee, our old party, time to resolve their leadership issues. I've also given them 30 days. The 30 days and ask our colleagues in ODM, just be as gracious as we have been, be as gracious as the party leader in Jubilee, Honorable Sabina Shege, has been, to wait for that 30 days period to resolve the issues in Jubilee. I pray and hope that even within the Azimio coalition, you will be able to resolve the issues that are within your coalition so that we engage here as leaders who can engage on the basis of the policies that we espouse for those of us who are in government and you in the opposition or in the minority on the basis of the alternative policies that you espouse that you will sell to the people of Kenya as a better alternative and that we can only do when we engage in this house and engage again on a speaker I say without being too emotional without being insultive even to the person of the speaker, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I do want to give notice that I'll be moving a motion when we resume to name the Honorable um, uh, Member for Atandi, Samuel Atandi, over what happened yesterday, Honorable Speaker. Because, Honorable Speaker, just as I was raising the issue of Babu Owino, we ought to be a house that, where we conduct business with decorum. And on occasion, Honorable Speaker, Myself and Honorable Pukose will point to issues where we are going out of order, Honorable Speaker. And I must thank even the Honorable Otiende Amolo, I've seen him being very keen when he sees the Honorable Didmas Barasa not dressed properly. He raises those issues because that is how we protect the dignity of this house. But when we start shouting at the Speaker, when we start calling the Speaker unpalatable names from where we are sitting, simply because we are unanswered, we are not unanswered, when the Honorable Babu Owino starts shouting there that I am not, he is not my girlfriend. And honest, honestly, Honorable Speaker, I cannot be admiring a man under any circumstances. And even if I was to admire anybody, not the likes of Babu Owino. <laughs> there are enough women in this country to admire. I cannot be in the business of admiring men. 